And about a month later, welcome back to Let's Play Evergrace. I am TBG still, and I hope you guys enjoyed the first half of the story because it's not going to get any more in-depth than it already has. I decided not to do a blind play, so I actually know what the hell I'm doing. And that turns out to be a good thing because some of this shit gets stupid later on. Um, the thing is, I expected the story to get better, and I might be a little more positive about it. There's the thing, though. There's almost no plot here until the very end. So, no, it's not going to get any better. Ever. <laughs> Let's not waste a second. Let's just drop straight in. Ooh, nice and gold. Rubain. In the blink of an eye, the world was conquered by the strongest military empire with magical Palmyra armaments. They are however weak to tattoos. Lost Empire. The empire flourished, but suddenly it vanished without a trace. Because of its weakness to tattoos. All that remained was a legend and the Biliana Forest. Everything was cast into darkness. Because of tattoos. I was telling this fairy tale to that young boy. But a terrible thing occurred. He had a tattoo. I wanted to help him. The boy who gazed sadly at his own hands. So I... Paid for tattoo removal surgery. Uh, huh? Are you awake? What a relief. Oh no, I'm not awake. I'm just sta up sitting yet. up sleeping. Darius? I... Who are you? I was worried when I found you lying in the forest. I thought you might have been dead. It's not unusual here. I can't believe I found you. What's your name? Um, Sh Charlene? Are you sure? Charlene? Oh, what a pretty name. I'm Sienna. I, I can't remember. What? Please, wait here a second. Don't cut her off, Jesus. Also, no, I'm not waiting for the text. Usually, it makes you press sure the button. You don't leave this place, okay? Okay. Usually, it makes you wait. Or not wait. You could just skip through the dialogue. You could, as long as you just mash the X button, you'll have, you'll, you'll have full control over how things progress. I do not have that kind of control. Uh, I think there's a bow somewhere around here. Weapon? Weapon? No weapon. Damn it. Uh, but yeah, I had to sit there and wait through all that awkward fucking silence. And so did you. <laughs> You're being so charming. Are you up to something? <laughs> Sienna, you haven't changed at all. She has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I know. So what? Run. Who did that? <laughs> Was it Sienna or 
Morpheus. Or this guy, Trandon. Trandon, it's you. What's wrong, Trandon? Answer me. It's no use. Well, you seem relatively intelligent. I think even you can figure out what this means. <laughs> Morpheus? What? Stop it. I'm sorry. So sorry I brought you into all this. Sienna? I'll never escape the curse of the crest. Yes! The crest! Finally, it's in my hands! <laughs> So sorry. Crest? She said crest. Yes, a simple five letter word. I've got to help her. Oh my god, the voice acting's even worse in this one. Fucking hell. <laughs> I thought... Ugh, no, I don't want to read. What's that shitting bow? Seriously, where's the bow? Isn't it supposed to be in here? Uh... Excuse me for one moment. There we go, Salto Bow. Let's equip that right away. Unlike last time where I was abusing hand-to-hand -hand combat, you kind of can't afford to do that here because Charlene is so piss weak, even a melon rat is harder to kill than most of the bosses in Darius's playthrough. Unless you use weaponry. In which case, they're pathetically easy. Now, there really isn't much new to Charlene's story, apart from... Actually, no, no, I'm not going to be mean. I'll take that back. There is a lot new to Charlene's story, and we're going to start with this asshole. Doink. You don't really get a lot of um, games like this where you're, you get totally new sets of enemies. You're going to see a lot of familiar faces, but there's going to be equally many uh, new enemies. Uh, the next area is nothing but new enemies, unless you count the Shadow Tower. Because we will be seeing those eyeball creatures there, but everything else is exclusive to uh, Charlene's playthrough. Which is, I'll give the game credit where credit is due, it's just a shame that... The combat isn't terribly interesting in Charlene's playthrough at all. Um, in fact, it's a considerable step down. The reason being, Charlene's story is supposed to focus on puzzle solving. Um, the puzzles basically amount to being slightly more complex than what you saw in Darius' story. Uh, we're going to have light matching puzzles. In fact, some areas we're going to go to are carbon copies of areas we've been to. Some of the puzzles are going to be slight rearrangings. Overall, um, Charlene's playthrough, for how much weaker she is and the enemies you're given is more interesting, there is no fucking story to it at all. You're basically strung along with like, oh, you might get some plot here. Maybe, if you're good. It doesn't fucking happen. Uh, I need to unequip my boo. 
yes, uh, non as an auxiliary here. Flick. You've already seen that. Like, this area here is exactly the same in terms of layout, but in terms of what you need to do is different. For example, we must first go to Saramod Hill to do stuff. Like, kill this melon rat. Monies. I want to get a little bit of money so that I can upgrade the bow. Because when you full when you upgrade this thing, it gets a huge, huge boost of durability. And oddly enough, this is gonna be one of my main weapons for a while. Until near the end. When we get the elite bow. No, Charlene is not entirely focused on ranged combat. In fact, her best weapon is the Sacred Rod. Which in addition to sounding incredibly phallic, is insanely powerful for Charlene. What are you doing here? It's dangerous. Do you wish to die? Hmm. That might not be such a bad idea. What do you want? I'm looking for a flower to put on this guy's corpse. If you don't get out of here, I'll have to find one for you also. At least we have this guy. He at least tries. What are you doing? No, you cannot take the Salt Sword. Because that belongs to this guy. Um, who is this guy? We never find out. I'm going to guess it's his son. The guy's the king. I'm going to guess that grave is for his for the prince. Uh, so, we come over here. Huh? Of course, there's no Billy on a leaf for us to take because Darius got that. But remember this flower that Darius decided, eh, I'm not gonna take. Yoink. Oddly enough, Darius comes through here after Charlene. So I think if you play Darius or Charlene first, that flower's not there. So that's nice. Uh, it ke it adds a bit of dynamicness, d dynamicity. Uh, what's the word? It adds a bit of dynamic uh, structure to the game without r the risk of, you know, ending up with a dead game situation. Still here? You don't care much for life, do you? Nah. Flower? Is this Rubain? Yes, of course. I haven't seen you around before. Where are you from? I'm from Solta. Solta? Are you kidding? How did you get here? Um, did I say something strange? This world is sealed from the outside. You can't possibly have come from Salta. Outside? What do you mean? I mean, nobody can get in or out. So how did you get here? Magic! I don't know. When I came to, I was here. Oh, this is very strange. Sorry I scared you. Here, take this as thanks for the flower. Ding! We get the sword star. You look a bit like my daughter. She's dead now. That pendant has an inscription that says it will take you beyond the passage of the three heads. They say the only one who understands the inscription is the royal priest herself. Right. So we need to find the priest again. Um, yeah, the three heads is that uh, block, that blockade that we ran into a few minutes ago. We can just go and open that now and go straight to the next area. Ow. Fuck off. I have no life extract at this point still. I don't like that. Oh, excuse me. Hmm, sorry. Kill. Ooh, antidote. Uh, so, I have no life extracts. I have barely any items. What I want to do is I want to get the Salta Bow, another weapon, the Ceremonial Spear, fully upgraded before we go anywhere. I'm not bothered about money, because I have a much earlier uh, grind file 
load it or ready to load at any time and that's got all the shit that I want so with that said doink we are now going to fast forward prepare to fast forward preparing to fast forward fast forward fast forwarding sir On second thought, I've decided I don't have the patience for that. So, this is a low percent run now. Well, until we find stuff. I'm gonna increase my strength, because I need to be able to do damage. <clears throat> yeah, since I'll have all my shit in uh, the third area, uh, I'm not worried about... Well, fuck. I'm not worried about uh, being underpowered for now. It is going to be a bit of an issue in the Human Research Lab, but uh, I have Divining Light, which will do away with the first boss pretty nicely. So let's actually set that now. I also, quite frankly, don't give a flying toss how bad my shit is in terms of condition. Uh, I'm kind of just barreling through this first bit, and then I'm going to get serious later. Oh, I heard whiz robes. No, not whiz robes. I heard, um, phantom priests. Yes, I am just making up names because I don't give a fuck. Really, I am... This is not a good game. And it drags. Even for how short it is, for an RPG, it feels like it drags. Ow. Jesus Christ. That hurt. That went the wrong way. Run. He'll die. Alright, so that went badly. If I have to buy life extracts, I will. So we come back over here, and we uh, put the sword star to the stone wall, Jackson, and it'll give way. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Melonret. Fuck. Die, you prick. There we go. Ooh, beer. So, there's really not much of shit to say here. It's the Royal Commons again. Put that in its place. And that's why this thing was here the way it was. And here's the royal priest. Hello, lady. You made it. Touch the statue up ahead. It will point you wherever you want to go. Good to know. Let's get out of here. <laughs> First area clear, guys. Yeah, it's going to be about that fast for the whole game. And Charlene has less locations to explore. And on top of that. Oh. Blood Claw. I think. Was that the Blood Claw? Yes, it was. Let's equip that shit. We're gonna need that for here. Except those guys take no damage from anything. You can kill them. The problem is, I'm inept. Fuck it, I'm leaving. All right, so to oh to leave, we use this thing. Problem is, we need transport Palmyra. So how do we get transport Palmyra? Well, the process is pretty complicated, unnecessarily so, I think. Okay, I could die here. Shit, because of these assholes. Run as fast as you can. These guys are annoying as hell. Until you have some big long weapon like a spear, which I misnamed a minute ago. Don't even bother. Those guys are evil. Uh, is this where we have to go? Maybe. No, it isn't. Leave. <laughs> Another maze-like area, but thankfully it's not too terrible to try and navigate. 
Only problem is the camera is so fucking close to you. This is where we need to go, the commander's room. Morpheus is in here. Asshole. But first, we need to come up here. To the warehouse. Uh, no, I'm in the wrong place, but I might as well save. Alright, now let's find where we're supposed to go. Let's also equip our bow again. Alright, we keep on going this way to the... To the left now, y'all. Uh, we should come upon it. Ooh, dead body. Poor bastard. This isn't where we're supposed to go either. I'm gonna die. Ugh. Oh wait, there's beds here. Quick divining light. See if this works. It doesn't. In fact. It was doomed to fail from the s Shit! Uh, fucking hell. Oh wait, I got the thing. Leave! <laughs> what was the thing that I got? That was... very bad. I didn't even realize the thing was in my inventory. What did I get? Ah! Master key. Huh. So that was the most difficult thing I've ever experienced in my life. Here we go. Don't touch those. They curse you. That's dickish. Just stick it right at the door. Closer. No way I could possibly see it. Don't come Stay any closer. Back. How come I told you not possible? to get any closer. Who are you? What are you doing here? You're not from the human research lab. Research lab? You didn't know? Then what are you doing here? You've heard of it, right? It was built by that weirdo Morpheus. The one who invented the Palmyra armaments. Morpheus! You know him? I need to see him. Oh yeah? You have something to do with his experiments? Too bad. I need to see him too. But look at me. This place is full of abandoned test subjects. You can't get to him. How do I know unless I try? I think I have a better shot at it than you. Um, you look bad. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Here, take this. You'll need this to see him. The Billy on a fruit. I'm Orlad, a member of the royalty. Who are you, my fierce young lady? My name's Charlene. Charlene, huh? I won't forget. I'll pay you back for your help someday. And by that he means fucking never. <laughs> Except maybe in the sequel. So we have the Biliana fruits. Uh, now I believe we go to the commander's room and probably get killed considering our um, condition. <laughs> but can't hurt to try.